she was a woman. I have no money in my I've been a heap the sex in a sex in a I've been a heap in the floor the sex in a sex in a I've been a heap in the floor the sex in a sex in a I've been a heap in the floor the sex in a sex in a I've been a heap in the floor the sex in a sex in a channel while you guys are here don't forget to comment don't forget to like and subscribe by the title of the video you already know your girl has to go to be recertified as a flight attendant okay if you are new to my channel hey girl hey over here we talk about flight attendant how to be a flight attendant flight attendant vlogs travel fashion beauty all of that but this particular one i'll be kind of just telling you guys or just showing you guys my process of going to recurrence Okay, so recurrent is basically when a flight attendant has to get recertified and to fly again for the next year. If you are a flight attendant, you already know how this goes. And if you are an expiring flight attendant, you have to get recertified every year. Of course, it's so much information that you will learn in training. They have to, you know, just kind of make it rememberable for you that's why we have to do it every year so we have to go through emergency equipment evacuations medical cpr we do we are trying to do cpr it's just so much so we have to do this every year to just make sure that we are prepared just in case there is an emergency okay so right now i am in atlanta i am heading to dallas today i'm going the day before because you know your girl love trying to like go somewhere last minute I'm not going to play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. I'm not going to play with it, okay? Because what well, current starts tomorrow at 8 a.m. It is a flight that will get me there at like 7.30, maybe like 7.15, but I don't even want to deal with that. So I'm going to go the day before. They are um, taking care of my stay tonight, so I'm going the day before. Checking into my hotel tonight. I'm going to have lunch with one of my girls tonight in Dallas, and I'm just going to wake up tomorrow morning. Do my recurrent and come back to Atlanta because I don't have to go back to work all until next week. Your girl has been on vacation and I have been enjoying every moment of it. Okay, I go back to work next week in the heat or in the moment of spring break. So it's going to be real. Okay, but right now I'm just packing. I've got my regular flight, my flight attendant bag. I'm not going to take my other flight attendant carry on. I'm going to just take my Telfar bag. Y'all love this bag. It just literally fits everything in it. And my nails look so crazy, y'all. My nail looks so crazy. I took off my birthday nails. I'm going to probably put it back on because my cousin made me two sets. And I'm, I'm, I'm not over them yet. I still love my nails. So, I didn't want to go to recurrent training with long nails. Like, although I probably would have not said anything, but a part of uniform compliance, your nails cannot be long. Of course, when you out on the line and flying and you doing your job, you probably don't have people on your back looking at you about what you got on your nails. But at the same time, I'm being from the in-flight managers. I just didn't want to deal with this. So, I slicked my hair back. And I'm going to take the rest of these nails off my fingers. So, I just want to be sleek and in compliance. Okay? You can wear a uniform to uh, training, but I don't want to be in a uniform. I'm probably just going to wear... I have like a dress, like a nice little dress I'm going to wear with a cardigan over it. And some comfortable, sneak, comfortable sneakers. So, you can do that casual look or a business casual look for training. You can't wear like ties and ripped jeans and stuff like that. They have a whole protocol, y'all. So... That's tomorrow. I remember back in the day when I first became a flight attendant, uh, my, that, I think the training was like two days. So now everything has been narrowed down to one day. It's literally from 8 to 5 where we go through everything we've learned in training. Everything we learned in training, y'all. So, yes, I done did a refresher. But, yeah, y'all. So, I'm about to finish packing and I'm about to head to the airport. And if I don't holler at you guys before... I leave here, I'm definitely going to holler at you guys when I get to the airport or when I get to Dallas. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, y'all. So, I end up getting to the airport super duper late. Super late. It had other things to do in the airport before I even get to my hotel. So, I had to cancel dinner with one of my friends. So, right now, I'm heading to my hotel for training tomorrow. I end up running to an inspired flight attendant who has an interview tomorrow um, with an airline. 
We had a nice little chat on Instagram. I'm so happy and I hope we're wishing him the best. Wishing him the best. Y'all, and the crazy thing about it is, it is still cold in Texas. If you ever wondered, although Texas is considered the hottest state when it gets hot, but they have the craziest weather ever. Literally. So, oh, it's too bad. It's not too bad out here. She told me, um, the 40. Let me head on up here, honey, so I won't miss my, miss my shuttle. This is already late. Mind you, my flight left, left Atlanta late. We supposed to left at four. We gonna leave it at like four, like close to five o'clock. And I was talking to one of the flight attendants on board and he was like, it was the craziest delay. Like, I'm not even gonna say why they were delayed. It was just honestly pointless. It was pointless. Pointless, pointless, pointless. Baby, pointless. <laughs> but um, I'm about to head over to well, I'm supposed to be standing there, y'all. Make sure I'm standing in the right spot. So, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Good morning, y'all. Um, your girl is up, ready. I'm heading to the training center right now. Um, this hotel has breakfast, so I'm gonna try to see can I catch breakfast. Uh, technically, I'm supposed to be downstairs at 7.30. It's now, I think, 7.21. So I'm about to head downstairs. I'm just doing my last minute checks, making sure I'm not leaving anything. Um, and that's that. And I'm heading to the training center. I think the training center is like five minutes away from where I'm at right now. So I uh, try to holler at you guys. Start. I will try to holler at you guys when I get to the training center. If I can't, I'll just check in with you guys and let you know how it went. It will be from 8 to 5. And after that, I'm hopping back on my flight to head back to Atlanta. Moving like a little, ah, no. Heading back to Atlanta and that'll be it for today. Tomorrow I'm having a, I'm checking out a new restaurant in Atlanta and I want to bring, bring you guys with me. I'm checking out a new restaurant. Tomorrow, one of my homegirls, I want to bring y'all with me. And I have a party to go to on Saturday that I want to bring y'all to as well. So, this won't be the end of the vlog. Okay, I got to give you guys a little bit of excitement, a little bit of a turn up. Put you on to a new restaurant. So, of course, I'm going to give you guys all of that. This is just not it. Okay, so if I don't holler at you guys at the training center, I'm going to see you guys on my way to the airport. Yeah, I look so rough. <laughs> I'm literally just not getting done, y'all. I had the worst headache all day. Like, my headache lasted me from 6 a.m. to probably like an hour ago. It is now 6.30 p.m. Miserable boy. Ooh, okay, we're trying to Wash my face. My new skincare is here. My new skincare is here. Wash my face and just wind down, y'all. So, I'm gonna let y'all when I get to Atlanta. Hey, y'all. Your girl is back in Atlanta. I'm back from my training. I literally just got up. I ain't gonna say I just got up. It is probably now 11-ish. It's like 11-ish. Hold on, let me cut the TV down just a little bit. Uh, probably like 11-ish here in Atlanta. So on today's agenda, y'all, I got my little skincare um, thingies on my wrist. And I absolutely love this. If you are wondering what these are, it is basically like a... Uh, a barrier to stop all the water and everything from running down your arms when you're in your skincare routine. Um, I just cleanse my face and I'm going to show you guys a couple of products I'm using. I'm using this Korean, skin, Korean skincare. Um, I'm using this serum. I got this hydrating oil from Good Molecules. That was her sunscreen journey. Okay, I do not go out of the house without sunscreen. And I also have this advanced nail all-in-one cream that I just tried, y'all. So, I'm trying to get the skin together. So, I want to bring you guys along on my journey. I'm trying to get this skin right. I'm currently waiting on my cleanser. And I've got to run some errands today before I meet my girl for lunch. Um, I'm going to try the Neutrogena Hydrating Boost Exfoliator. My friend's been recommending that, so I'm going to go and try that today. I'm going to go pick that up today. And yeah, I think I just need a good 
uh, exfoliated. My cleanser will be here next week. So I'm going to start combining all the skincare stuff. I'm waiting on my rice water toner. I'm waiting on that. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the journey. But I cleansed my skin this morning and I'm feeling refreshed. My skin do not feel tight. It doesn't feel dry. It's, it feels very hydrated and I'm loving how it feels so far. Today is my second day using the snail cream um, and this glow serum. Second day. So we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, y'all. So I am about to go wash clothes before I run my errands. I got to go to Walmart. Excuse me, I gotta go to Walmart and then I'm checking out a new spot here in Atlanta. I told y'all I was checking out a new spot in Dallas, but I didn't go because we were delayed and it just threw my whole day off. So I'm checking out a new spot here in Atlanta. It's not new, it's just a new spot for me because I have not been to this particular location. I've been to one of their locations, but I want to check I want to take y'all with me to their new location. I see good reviews, I see bad reviews. More good than bad, but it's all about the experience that you have when you go. So, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. And I'm going to see what the vibe is going to be like, okay? Anyway, I say free parking in Atlanta, count me in. I'm going to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to holler at you guys later. Okay, y'all. So, your girl is already. This is the look. Real sleek, real cute. You know what I'm saying? My sister said she was doing just some basics. So, I just got on like a basic bodysuit. I'm show y'all a look. It's real simple. I got on a basic bodysuit by Everything Shop. Shop with my sis. Louis Vuitton scarf. I got my Laura Bay shades. Hair slick to the back. Real cute. Some cute little earrings, y'all. And my Yeezys. This is going to be look for today. Like, it is cold out this door, y'all. It's a beautiful day. But it's cold. You know what? I actually feel good right now. The sun that came out and it feels good out here. It feels good, but um, I'm going to probably still keep on my coat. But um, that is the look that I have on for today. Um, I have to switch purses. That's what I have to do because I got everything. <laughs> I got everything inside of my I got everything inside of my, um, can I hold this right here? I got everything, girl, zoom the fuck out of my face. I got everything inside of my Telfar bag, y'all. And I love my bag. It has everything up in here. Like, I love to travel with that bag. So I'm gonna try, I'm transferring some stuff from this to my Brandon Blackwood. Black on me, please. I love this Brandon Blackwood Trump bag, y'all. I think I got this for Valentine's Day last year. Um, really one of my favorite gifts. Don't ask me what all the stuff I got in my bag. Besides, I don't be knowing, y'all. That's the point of having a big-ass bag. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm about to change my bags. And I'm going to head to the car. Like I said, I got to stop by Walmart first and get some little knickknacks for the house. Like, so, man, re-up on some toothpaste and all that type of stuff. And then I'm going to meet my girl for a happy hour. And I'm going to holler at you guys probably when I get into a Walmart. Exfoliant, my friend told me to try. She told me that this is some really, really good stuff for exfoliating. Because what I would do is trash, y'all. This is my holy grail. Like, I've been using this for years. My grandmother put me on this. And I honestly, this cannot ever steal you wrong, y'all. I even use this to wipe my makeup off. You know, I gotta have my makeup wipe. So I also have a makeup remover at the house, too. So this would be my last bit of my skincare. That... I need all of my other Korean skincare came yesterday, so we about to get on the skincare journey. Not that I even had like huge issues with my skin, I just want to And I love to use the Dr. Bonner's. I'm about to get this. And I'm about to get on I like to use the Method Man soap. I'm about to do that, and I got like 30 minutes to get back on the other side of town. I'm gonna just have to start going to Target. This is a Target probably like 10 minutes from my house. So I'm probably gonna start going to Target. This is a Walmart!
this stuff right here be good too. I might try this. Mm. 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 This smells so good. Cherry vanilla macaroon. I'm gonna get this. Alright, clean, clean, be clean. And I'm gonna go with, with, the, with this to like smell good after I get out of the shower. I like it. Like, smell good with that. Like this. I'm gonna get my boo. This one. This is what he likes. And I think I'm gonna try this. Mmm, this smells so freaking good, y'all. Mm. So we got everything we need. Now we are on our way. That had a good part too, y'all. This pilot is like getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves. So we got everything we need and now we're heading to lunch. Now let me show y'all these nasty ass shoots that my, <laughs> my boyfriend wanted me to try yesterday. We was like, we tried them, we was like, hell no. These old bay chips, like what the hell? But I said these shoots are so freaking disgusting. We both about to spit it out when we tried it yesterday. But yeah, I got everything that I needed to have real on my soaps, my skincare. Baby. I'm trying to get this skin and these edges to be glowing all summer long. Okay. Don't worry about the nails. I'm going to do my nails tonight. I might do them tomorrow. I might do them tomorrow. I don't know. But I'm going to holler at you guys when we get to the restaurant. <laughs> Showed y'all what I got. Hold on, let me show y'all what I just used. No skin doctor here, no dermatologist, none of that. I'm just telling you guys what works for me. So I'm gonna throw that disclaimer out there. And my best friend actually put me on this. I want to say it's called Bior or Bior. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. I'm not sure, y'all. So don't come for me in the comments, okay? Um, it's a balancing pore cleanser. Although I do not have problems with my pores, but I have combination to super dry skin okay so i went and got my facial if you do not know on my last vlog i didn't go into great detail about it but i went and got my facial here in atlanta at clean your dirty face i went and got my facial and i told her the exfoliant that i was using she was like girl no ma'am you need a gentle exfoliator something that's gentle on your skin you know me and my friend were just talking about skin and all that type of stuff and she said you need to try this so i tried this last night and i tried it this morning it says use daily i probably want to i probably won't use it daily probably like three times out of the week um but i'm still waiting on my other skincare my other skin cleanser to get here too that i ordered that's a part of the korean skincare crew um but so far, I love this. I love how it makes my skin feel. It's the, it wasn't, I didn't feel like I was rubbing my skin with rocks when I'm exfoliating. So I absolutely love this. Um, so all I did right now is I applied my Good Molecules uh, Ultra Hydra in Facial Oil. This is what I love to apply to my face to add the moisture back into my face. And I've been using this for a couple months and I actually like this. And I'm using my puns, honey. I, I have to... I love my puns. I'm sorry. This is my, one of my favorite moisturizers. So, I'm doing my makeup today because I'm recording content today and we are having a date night tonight. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do my face today before I even go get my hair done because I'm getting my hair done, as you can tell. I'm just having a full 
self-care morning okay so i washed my hair um i got my ends clipped so my hair was cut into a bob and i got my ends clipped last time i got my hair done and my curls are just popping like my curls are just popping but wash my hair deep condition my skin <laughs> Deep conditioning my hair, deep conditioning my skin. Um, so these are the only two products I just put on my face now because I know I'm wearing makeup. I don't want my face to be super duper oily. So these two products, I'm going to put on a primer before I do my makeup and that's going to be that. But other than that, um, I definitely will have put on my serum. And I definitely plan this one I got off Amazon. Okay, so if you are interested in any of my products, I am dropping the links below. And everything that I got from Amazon, I'm plugging into my skincare. So all you got to do is click the link below, sis. Go to my skincare and click it if you're liking what you're seeing. Okay, so I got this from Amazon. And I absolutely love this. Go to sleep. I be looking like a glazed donut, but I wake up my skin be moisturized. It don't be feeling as dry. Okay, this is what works for me, though, now. This works for me. Everybody's skin is different, but this works for me. So, yeah, that's my routine for now, and that's what I did this morning. So, I'm about to edit another YouTube video right now. Um, I'm going to let my conditioner sit in for a little bit, and I'll be heading to get my hair done. I'm do my makeup, heading up, get my hair done. I'm going to stop by and see one of my friends. And after that, it's going to the movie. So, so today is kind of jam-packed. It's kind of like jam pack. So, I'll probably see you guys when I'm back from my hair pony. Y'all already know my girl Shane is laying my ponytail. Um, I'm going to one of my um, best friends' uh, birthday party tomorrow. Like, all of my friends' birthdays are in March. Like, this is really Mar Ma March Madness. And my very best friend, her birthday is next weekend. Okay? So, it, it's really March Madness. Okay? So, um, I'm going to get my hair done. I'm doing a sleek back ponytail um that i was gonna do it's gonna be cold the party's gonna be in birmingham um it's gonna be cold this weekend so i literally changed my whole outfit y'all i think i might come back and show y'all what i was gonna wear and I, I switched it up to something it's the we doing brunch so it's like grown and sexy vibe so i'm probably just gonna do a black crop blazer y'all know i love a blazer some leather leggings i'm gonna wear my YSL heels the hair gonna be sleek. I'm probably gonna do a popping red lip and a cute bag and some statement glasses. Okay, some statement shades because y'all know I can look at around my shades. Okay, and yeah. Oh, so, that's the movement for today. So I'll probably see you guys before I leave because I'm gonna show y'all my face because I've been getting some compliments on, um, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my makeup. I might do a updated makeup routine here. If you are new to my page, new to my channel, I do have a makeup routine video on my channel, but it's so old. I recorded it back when I lived in New York. That was probably like three to four years ago. Um, but I'm going to do an updated foundation routine because the girls love the look. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and show y'all my makeup and now I'll probably see y'all again. My hair is done. And I'll probably come back to the house, change clothes, then we're going to be out for tonight. So, I'll probably come back and show y'all my makeup and come back and show my, show y'all my hair. We're going to see Creed tonight, so I'm excited about that. And that's going to be that. And I'll probably, if I don't see y'all after that, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow at the party. Right now we're heading to Birmingham for my friend's party. And I'm going to bring you guys along with us. But last night was a complete vibe. We went and saw Creed. Y'all, Creed 3. You have not go, if you have not seen the movie, please go see it. Because the movie was freaking amazeballs to me. Okay. You know, it was a vibe. And after that, we went to this other spot. What was that spot we went to with the games? I don't know. I'm going to find out the spot and let y'all know. But that was a cute little vibe too. But yeah. We're pressing for time. So we're on our way out. I'm going to holler at y'all when we get to my friend's party in Birmingham. <laughs>